came to show my support for what the protesters here in Toledo and across the country are are fighting for. I've been to you know several of these marches and rallies over the last you know, two weeks or so, and you know the pain and frustration that people are feeling is real. And part of my job, uh, not just as a mayor, but frankly as a uh, as a white male, uh, is to listen, is to uh, to be here and be present, and to feel the emotion. Uh, that, that takes place at these rallies. Um, I can say this one is especially powerful to me. Um, it's, it's been organized by mothers who have lost, uh, African-American mothers who've lost uh, children. Uh, when I, probably the most haunting thing, uh, in my opinion, uh, in the video of George Floyd's death was how he called out for his mother in, in his dying, breaths and it, it's just a reminder of how strong that bond is between mother and child and I, you're hearing a lot of that uh, today as well so I, I'm not part of the program I don't want to be a part of the program I'm just here very silently um, offering my support and uh, you know trying in my own way to bring change to this moment. So knowing what you know now what changes are you expecting to make? Well, I think there will be, um, there are policies, there are policing policies that uh, need to be made. We've already announced several of them in Toledo. Um, and there will be more uh, changes that we need to make. Um, I, I would also say, though, that uh, while policing is the focus right now, and understandably, I think what this moment tells me is that there is... Uh, a need to focus on the root causes of the frustration that I think people feel. So it might not seem on point, but to me it's very on point uh, to start talking about resources for things like health care and education and job training, um, all of the housing, so many of the uh, systems uh, where there are disparities based on race. And so while there's work that needs to be done on policing, absolutely. Um, part of our focus in the city, and we've committed $55 million over the next five years, is to invest in um, eradicating these root causes of frustration. So, um, you know, it, but I, I suppose a final way I would answer your question is to say, look, I just gave you a big long list of policies that we can change and programs we can institute, and we will. But it strikes me that the moment we're at right now requires changing not just laws, but hearts. And that, that's, that's a lot harder to do.